What is up guys, welcome back for the third installment of Overuse Me, Kingler Edition. Uh, as if you guys don't know the series, we're trying to get Kingler to the overuse status, so you have to use it on the ladder. That means you guys watching right now, get on Showdown, use Kingler, up its usage. That's the point, basically, we're just trying to make a mon that shouldn't be in OU, be in OU. So, uh, we're using a, this re really cool Kingler team. Now, I wasn't going to put out an episode for today, initially. I was just like, you know what, I'm tired, uh, I'm just going to go to bed. And then I made this team. And you guys look at the team, and it, it looks pretty standard. Like, other than the Credilly, it looks okay, whatever, you know. He paired Kingler with a couple of things that take uh, the super effective hits on it, you know. And then you look more in depth. And the sets that I'm running... <laughs> here we go. We have Adamant, Agility, Home Claws, Knockoff, Crab, Hammer, Kingler. Now, Kingler's biggest issue is that it cannot take hits on the special side. On the physical side, it's fine. It can take hits any day of the week. Uh, but on the special side, it can't even take a Moonblast from a Clefable Well. So, what I, I decided to do was to pair up Kingler with a an Amnesia Substitute Roost Baton Pass Mew. So, the idea is to set up a Substitute. Uh, amnesia and baton pass multiple or even just one special defense boost into Kingler so that it can live special hits, get off the agility, get off the home claws, and sweep up a team that's weakened. So I also decided to pair this with Mega Agron because Mega Agron has amazing defense already, but it lacks in the special defense. I gave it 224 speed so that at plus two after a rock polish, it would be able to outspeed the likes of uh, Weavile, as well as giving it low kick, ice punch, and Heavy Slam, so it can cover a lot of different things. Uh, it can't hit the likes of Starmie or uh, Talonflame for too much damage, but I think it's enough. I think it's enough coverage. We have uh, checks to those uh, few mon mons that I named, uh, such as Cridilly over here, which is a standard Cr Cridilly set. It's a specially defensive set, able to take on uh, Mega Alakazam, uh, the likes of Latios and Latias, it can, it can easily take a Draco Meteor and just heal up all the damage with a recover on the next turn. And then we have Kieran Black over here, which also doesn't mind a couple of special defense boosts, honestly, because this thing can sweep up a team. We're running the standard Life Orb Roost set. And finally, we have a Choice Scarf Rotom Heat, the first Pokemon you guys probably saw. You guys are uh, probably tired of hearing me talk about the team. I'll just show you what it can do in action. Now, the past couple of overused me episodes we haven't done too well so let's see if we can pull out a couple of wins this time now my opponent is extremely rotom weak that is the first thing that i see he does not appreciate rotom's existence against him uh also i feel like that's charizard y so that's something definitely to watch out for uh i think credilly can take a hit and kill it with a rock slide so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna lead off with rotom because Rotom gets off a of Volt Switch on anything. He le leads off with Gengar, so a very good play. I'm just going to Volt Switch out. Hopefully he's not Scarfed. That would suck. Uh, but we do get off this Volt Switch. He we does find out that we're Scarfed right there. But we're going to go straight into Cradilly. We're going to get up our rocks. Uh, his spinner does not appreciate Cradilly's existence either. So um, I don't know if I can ta actually take a Sludge Wave from this thing. Because it's, it's stronger and it's super effective. So I have to be very careful about what I do here. Uh, I might double out into Aggron actually because this thing is life orb so let's yeah let's do that let's expect him to sludge wave because his shadow ball did a lot more than i expected it to do i was expecting something like 28 29 damage 29 percent of course but uh that did a ton so gotta get out of here hope he doesn't focus blast let's see he goes for taunt nice okay cool so we're able to get off the mega evolution he might not even have focus blast although gengar without focus blast is pretty much useless uh we're just gonna go for a heavy slam right here as he is gonna bring this skarmory that's absolutely fine uh we do not have hazard removal on this team however so we're gonna have to be very careful about how we play this so let's bring in rotom again right here uh, as he goes for a toxic actually that that i prefer over stealth rocks any day like please go for it um, let's just overheat here, because if he brings in the Amoongus, then I get to, uh, not knock it out, but do a lot of damage to it. I see him switching out here, probably into something like Starmie would be a good play. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go Mew. Uh, he shouldn't spore here, because one, my overheat knocks him out. Uh, it does 36% if we get the same roll. And also his, uh, my Rotom is poisoned, so he shouldn't be going for anything of that sort. Uh, Charizard does come out. That's a little bit scary because I don't have a switch into this thing. 
uh, as I'm probably going to have to try to eat the hit. Can Mew even eat this? Hold on. Mew, stall breaker, uh, not this. Physically defensive. 252, bold, uh, against a Charizard Y. Charizard Y, where are you? There you go. Fire Blast does 91%. Okay, yeah. Um, so I don't have a play here, honestly. I think my play is to go into Rotom, but even Rotom doesn't eat that very well. So let's just go for the, uh, let's go for Baton Pass. Oh, he's X, okay, cool. He goes for Dragon Dance, that's absolutely fine. Um, is it though? Is it really? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, am I just about to get demolished by this thing? I might. Uh, I think Mew can definitely take a hit after and just roost off the damage. We shall see. But, um, how do I threaten this thing immediately? How, how, how do I do that? Uh, let's go into... What do I need Aggron for? I don't need Aggron for anything, so let's go into that. And, uh, I'm just gonna go for the Ice Punch here. He might want to set up again, thinking that I might not be able to hit him. Hopefully we can freeze. That'd be cool. Uh, he's gonna go into Skarmory, though. Uh, he's gonna take an Ice Punch. Doesn't do too much, uh, but it does, uh, we do get the Charizard out of there, which is, like, the biggest thing. Um, and, again, Rotom, I think, is just the best play. Uh, because now his Amoongus is weakened and he can't risk switching it in to an Overheat. So I'm just gonna go for a Volt Switch this time. His Zard is a good switch in now, so I have to, uh, be very careful with that. And Rotom is on a timer now, so. Alright, uh, how do we play around this? I think we go into Kingler, which can take a hit. And we set up a, an Agility, possibly? Or just go for a Crab Hammer, honestly? Uh, I think I need Aggro on this game to check Weavile. I think that's all I need it for, so... Uh, his Flare Blitz probably won't take out Aggron. Um, but I need to put pressure on this Charizard immediately. So, let's go Kingler. I'm gonna go into Kling Kingler. We are Adamant. Uh, we are Life Orb, so we should, in theory, be able to knock him out. I'm just gonna go for a Crab Hammer here. If he chooses to switch into Amoongus, he's gonna have to switch right back out because I'll be able to knock him out. So he has to be careful with that. Let's see what he chooses to do. We might be Scarfed. We might be Scarfed. <laughs> I don't know, I just, uh, I wanted to record with this team, guys. It seemed fun. Uh, more fun than anything else, because, like, that's that's the main point of this series, is just to have fun. I know his Dragon Claw can't take me out, there's no way. 220, 266, yeah. There's there's just no way it's, it's knocking me out from here. Uh, and if he goes for that, then he's weakened uh, from the Crab Hammer, and then I can go into Rotom and just Volt Switch out or overheat or whatever i don't know so yeah um i wanted to get up my rocks <laughs> this game but i don't know if that's gonna happen uh, especially with this charizard coming in and out and uh especially his gengar his gengar switched out on my credilly though which was interesting does he not have sludge wave that's a possibility he goes into starmie actually okay so starmie's gonna take a huge hit right there and it is the leftover set so i'm gonna go for an agility um and then we're gonna go for knockoff on the turn after. He's gonna go for Psychic. He's almost gonna knock us out, but he doesn't put us into uh, range of the Life Orb hit, which is nice. And I'm just gonna go for a knockoff here. Hopefully we can get rid of this Star Mew, because then I can get up rocks and, and get rid of them for good. Like, keep them up for good. Uh, unless, of course, he's uh, Skarmory with, um, with Defog. But he's gonna go into Weavile. I think I actually want to keep Kingler as a sack, potentially. Do I need a sack for anything? Well, I guess Amoongus is Spore. That's always nice to have a sack for. Uh, Yeah, you know what? Let's go... Let's go Aggron. Because I don't really lose too much by going Aggron. Uh, Z just goes for an Ice Shard, which is fine. He's going to take a Life Orb hit, needlessly. And then we're going to go for an Ice Punch here, predicting the Skarmory to come out. Let's hope we can freeze this thing. That would be awesome. We do not. That's okay. Uh, I'm gonna go into... Hmm. Wish I was Suction Cups right about now. Let's go into Cradilly. Because uh, Cradilly allows me to not get up my rocks thanks to Charizard coming in. That's a little bit annoying. Uh, I think I just want to Rock Slide here, honestly. Uh, he's gonna switch out into his Amoongus. Okay, fair enough. That's gonna take a good amount. And I'm going to get up my rocks immediately so that that Charizard can't keep coming in and out on me 
Uh, we're gonna just rock slide here. It hits everything on his team for at least neutral. He's gonna go for a spore. We're immune. I'm pretty high on the ladder, guys. Trust me. Um, we are not going to get a flinch, but he's just gonna keep clicking spore for some reason, which is very interesting. I don't know if he thinks I'm trying to catch his Skarmory or not. Uh, we actually do get the flinch on the Amoongus right there, which is nice. As now what I'll be able to do is just Rock Slide again. Skarmory comes out. It's not going to appreciate this Rock Slide. Uh, well, I mean, it only takes 13, but I mean, does this thing even have Roost? Because he hasn't clicked it once, which is a little bit surprising. But he's Toxic Stealth Rock. If anything, I expect him to Roost right here. So what I'm actually going to do is go into Kirim. Because now nothing switches into an Ice Beam anymore. He is gonna roost. Awesome, okay. And now we're just gonna go for that Ice Beam. And we are gonna catch the Amoongus and knock it out. Cordelia is nice and healthy. Charizard comes in on rocks. So does Gengar, so does Weavile. Well, pretty much everything always comes in on rocks, right? So, except for Magic Guard Pokemon. Uh, and Weavile is gonna choose to come in. Interesting play. Uh, and here is where I sack off my Kingler. Right here to this thing. If he goes for Pursuit, that's a very good play. Because then I have a hard time taking out his Skarmory. But now I can just Volt Switch around, actually. I know I'm coming in on Rocks repeatedly, but how many switch do I have with Rotom? I have three, actually, because I'm at 75.1. So I can just Volt Switch three times. Which is awesome. Uh, gotta be careful around Weavile, because it is his only priority mon. So, I am gonna save this Kirim. It still puts in work. Uh, his Skarmory is at a good amount of health, unfortunately. Uh, I've been having trouble with Showdown lately, like, showing me percentages, and I don't know why the Pokemon are set up this way, like, vertically. Three and three. I'm gonna have to figure that out. Are we still on the first game? We are. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna sack Kingler here. Uh, as he goes for a knockoff, which is absolutely fine. I'm going to go hard into Aggron. Uh, just forcing this thing out is, is good, in general. Just uh, getting it to switch in on rocks again and again and again just makes it so much easier to deal with. This Skarmory keeps coming in on my Ice Punches. Uh, I'm gonna low kick here. Uh, as he actually pulls a switch out into Charizard, this might kill. It does not. Alright. <laughs> well, um, I'm gonna go for the Rock Polish here in case he has Roost. Uh, which he very well might. And if he goes for Flare Blitz, he's gonna knock himself out to Recoil. So... Uh, he brings back in Skarmory. I don't know why he keeps switching around like this. Uh, I'm just gonna Ice Punch here, because I'm faster now. We still do not get the Freeze, that's fine. We're just gonna keep Ice Punching. He can't do anything to us. And we finally get the Freeze, alright! And now we're faster than his whole team. So now he has to Thaw. Can we win with a Freeze from Mega Aggron, Game 1? Let's see, guys. Does he Thaw? He does Thaw, alright, so... Unfort... Unfort... Uh, just gonna Ice Punch again. I mean, I'm not losing anything by clicking Ice Punch. And we get another freeze! <laughs> yes! Let's go! Come on, Mega Aggron! You can do it, buddy! Come on! Just keep clicking it! This is crazy. Am I really gonna win with Ice Punch? Because <laughs> I can I can knock out the Charizard now, because he allowed it to take damage. Uh, one more! One more! Don't thaw! Don't thaw! Don't thaw! Yes! That is game! That is GG! We just won with... Rock Polish Mega Aggron! Yes! I know it's not Kingler, but it's fine. Yo, Kingler actually did something this game, though. It knocked out the Starmie, which allowed my Aggron to sweep at the end, because I wouldn't have been able to sweep otherwise. That's hilarious. <laughs> we actually won with that. Yo, I'm, <laughs> I'm... I'm tired, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, so now we get a real team. Uh, <laughs> hopefully this guy won't be switching around on rocks all the time. Uh, but I don't see a good countermeasure to a lead Cradilly, actually. He does not have a very good anti-lead uh, against Cradilly, except maybe Chestnut. Chestnut is probably a pretty good one. Um, and again, I don't have any hazard removal, so I'm going to have to be very, very cautious around his team. Kirim looks like it puts in quite a bit of work. Uh, really should put on some sort of hazard removal on this team now that I'm looking at it. Because it's very, very weak to rocks with... Uh, with almost nothing having recovery, uh, Rotom taking 25%, Kirim as well, like it's just, it's a, it's a bad time, man. Anyway, my opponent's taking a little bit of time to choose his lead, I will pause it and we will be right back. Alright, so my opponent decided to lead with Scizor, which is pretty good for him, uh, I mean I can't do, really do anything about this. Uh, I'm just gonna set up rocks, cause his bullet punch will not kill me. He's actually gonna go for U-turn, uh, so bullet punch might have killed me. <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, 69%, yeah. 
It might have been able to do the job, but anyway, it clicked U-turn, so we are going to be able to get up our rocks right here. He does have a uh, form of hazard removal in Excadrill. However, if he does choose to spin, that means I get off a Giga Drain. Giga Drain. Giga Drain. Uh, he does go into his uh, Excadrill, which is absolutely fine. We're just going to go for a Giga Drain here, as he's going to go for his own rocks, actually. All right, that's cool. Uh, and now I think I'm just going to spam rocks, honestly, uh, because I can see him spinning here, not wanting these rocks to be up. Uh, he could also just Iron Head, which would be a very good play. Honestly, now that he has his rocks up, like... And if this is his rocker, I think Kyurem is faster than this. So, that could be very good for us. He is just gonna Iron Head. Uh, he doesn't show Life Orb. Uh, what do I know is faster than this? Definitely Rotom. Um, I don't want to bring Rotom in just yet, though. Well, then again... He doesn't have a very good overheat switch in. Because, like, the electric move is there too, you know? But I th I'm pretty sure Kirim's going to be faster than this. Unless he packed max speed. He could be max speed. Let's just calc that iron head real quick. I want to see if Cradilly actually dies to, like, no investment. Especially defensive versus Excadrill. Uh, let's say bulky spinner. Iron head. Yeah, it still does enough with no investment. Um, I don't want to risk it, though. I really don't want to risk it, guys. Ah, uh, Fine, let's go Rotom. I really just want to click Volt Switch here, expecting the Manaphy to come out, because if that Manaphy sets up, I could be in trouble. Uh, but... But, 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 but... I don't think he has a reason to not click Earthquake here. I'm just going to go for Overheat, honestly. Uh, he might want to conserve this for the spin. That's why I really want to click Volt Switch, but you know what? It's whatever. Uh, he does choose to go into Raikou, which is a good middle ground play. Uh, that's what I kind of thought he would do. We actually crit him, so now he doesn't know if we're Specs or Scarfed, which is good. Uh, I expect Manaphy to come out here. If it's a bulky Manaphy, then Kyurem knocks, well, it doesn't knock it out, but it damages it enough to the point where uh, something else can revenge it, like Rotom. Um, this thing is going to set up in my face, isn't it? <laughs> There's nothing I can do about that. Uh, let's just hope Kyurem's faster. Also, I don't know if Kyurem dies to a plus three Ice Beam. He's going to go for a Tail Glow. We're going to go for Fusion Bolt right here. Uh, he's actually going to switch out into his Scizor. Okay. Uh, that's going to take a ton. And I'm going to go straight into... Mew, I think. Where's Rotom my play? Where's Kingler my play? <laughs> These questions. Uh, let's go Kingler. I'm going to keep Kyurem because his Manaphy seems to be scared of it. He's actually going to U-turn. Wow, so he risks me knocking him out. That's very... Interesting, to say the least. Uh, his scissor comes in extremely low, so that's nice. Uh, he's actually going to bring in his Excadrill. I'm assuming just to go for the Rapid Spin here, because our Stealth Rocker's gone. So I'm going to go for Agility, as he is going to Rapid Spin. Okay. And now we're going to go for Crab Hammer, because we're faster. And uh, anything that comes in here is not going to appreciate this, other than maybe Dragonite. I know Chestnut can take it, guys. Don't don't roast me. <laughs> I know that Chestnut can take a Crab Hammer, but it's still Life Orb. It's 394 attack. It's still going to do a very good amount, and uh, to the point where I think we can three hit KO it. So, I think his best play is to just go Dragonite and then just E Speed. Uh, however, Agron's looking pretty good right about now. If only I had something to hit the Scizor, <laughs> that that would be great. Um, I probably should have killed this so that I could have Volt Switched around. I really need Hazard Removal on this team. <laughs> like, Rotom is getting worn down so fast, man. It's actually dumb. He's gonna go into Manaphy, actually, to take this Crab Hammer. That's gonna do a good amount. And uh, he is Leftovers. I'm gonna go for Knock Off to get rid of those. Thank you. That does a good amount as well. As he goes for Energy Ball. Awesome. Okay, cool. So, he's shown Tail Glow, Energy Ball, but we also see that he's Leftovers. So, what I'm going to do is... I think I go Mew. 
and just go for a an Amnesia. And then Baton pass it into Agron, potentially. And then Rock Polish and win? Hmm. That could be the play. I still need more damage on the Scizor, though. I feel like. Uh, you know what? Let's try it. Let's try it. Just for fun. Just for fun. Let's give it a shot. Let's go for Amnesia. If he goes for the Tail Glow, then he's going to have a little bit of an upper hand on me. Uh, however, I think if I go up to max special defense, then we should be okay. Uh, and as long as he doesn't burn me. Actually, if he burns me, it's better for me, so. Let's see. Um, he would have to Tail Glow here. He doesn't know if I'm offensive. He doesn't know anything about this Mew yet. So, this could be a huge advantage to us. He does go for Tail Glow. We are going to go for Amnesia uh, to match it up with him. Uh, he does have more special attack than I have special defense right now, obviously. But I am just going to go for another Amnesia. He's going to Scald. He's going to do 38%. He does not get the burn. And we go up to plus 4. Yeah, plus 4. I'm going to Amnesia again. He should Tail Glow, in theory. And he's faster than us, which is good. I like that. I like that a lot. All right. So we got rid of his leftovers. He's sitting at 18%. I'm just going to go for another Amnesia. If he scalds and crits, then so be it. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that. But if he goes for another Tail Glow, then we will be even. And uh, then it will be as if nothing happened, basically. So let's see. Let's see what he chooses to do. That scald was basically plus one. So he should be doing about 24% to me, roughly, once we're both at plus six. So I can actually start subbing up on this now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, I can sub on this. Once we're equal, I can sub. And if I can pass a sub into Mega Agron and Rock Polish up, that would be crazy. Yo, okay. We're gonna we're gonna try it out. We're gonna try it out. And then we're gonna rock polish and then and then what? How do we deal with the scissor? That's like the only thing is the scissor. Everything else I can hit for super effective damage with aggro. It's just the scissor. He's gonna go for tail glow. We're both gonna go up to max max. I'm gonna go for a roost right here on his skull. Hopefully he burns us. Yes, there we go. Synchronize that up. Thank you. And now we're gonna go for a substitute. He is in fact, oh, he has heal bell. Okay, I see you. All right, all right, that's cool. Uh, which makes me think that he is a more defensive variant. Like, just from that. Um, if only I knew how much HP he had. Do I have a way to check that? Yes, I do. Kingler. Knock off. 48% from Life Orb. Give me Manaphy. Give me a standard Manaphy. Oh, you tail glow plus three attacks versus Kingler. PU, Agility Sweeper. Give me a Life Orb. Life Orb, Adamant, Knock Off. Does. 44 to 52. So he is more offensive. Okay. All right. So he doesn't have HP investment, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna go for a... I really want to just baton pass this, but I know that's not the right play. Um, do I just roost here? Can I stall him out of Scalds is the question. I don't think I can. No, there's no way I can. Now, now that I'm burned... Why did you have to have Heal Bell, of all things? Um... Darn it. Uh, however... Wait a minute. That's why he didn't attack Kirim. Okay. I got it. Alright, Baton Pass. Into Kirim Black. He cannot knock me out. I can roost. Oh! Oh! Yes. Don't burn me. Come on, dude! Dude, don't burn me! I said don't burn me! Of all the things he could have done, he burnt me. Alright, we're gonna roost again. He has to Scald. God, that sucks, man. I would have been able to do some work with this if he didn't burn me. All right, we're going to Earth Power. He's going to Scald, do 16. We're going to fall to 46%. We have two Burned Mons. I don't know how we're going to come back from this now. He can just go into Scizor and Bullet Punch me, uh, which is probably what he's going to do. He's been U-turning a lot, but he finally decides to Bullet Punch. Okay, good play. Uh, gonna go into Rotom. Again, we have only two more switch-ins after this one. Um, the Volt Switch is kind of obvious. I mean, the Overheat is kind of obvious. 
So I really want to go for Volt Switch. Uh, as he goes into Dragonite. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. What, how can we capitalize on this? Let's go to Aggron. And let's set up. Because his Scizor seems to be a little more offensive. So it might not have Roost. That's all we can hope for. Uh, and he's Leftovers. I'm going to set up a Rock Polish. As he goes for... Th really? You Thunder Wave a Mega Aggron? Of all things? Alright, I'm going to Ice Punch this. Uh, as we're actually... Were we faster? Okay, Dragon Tails. Uh, gets us in a Rotom, unfortunately. And now we have to Hidden Power Ice. Uh, we can actually still come through with, with Rotom. I'm looking at this now. Please stay in. Please stay in. Don't expect me to have HP Ice. Yes. Wait, what? He lived? Okay, he subbed up anyway. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, let's go for HP Ice again. He's going to switch out into Scizor. That's fine. We will crit that. All right, cool. Uh, now we'll go into Aggron. Does he have the Roost? Ladies and gentlemen, he has Swords Dance. I think that means he doesn't have Roost. Let's go for the Low Kick. He goes for Super Power, is not able to knock us out. He gets a minus one defense. And we are able to knock him out. Okay, hold on a second. Wait a minute. If I can crit one overheat, I think I only need to crit one, I think. I don't know how much his Excadrill is at. His Dragonite comes in. Okay. So, he doesn't have anything to hit us super hard. I'm just going to go for Ice Punch. He's going to go for Roost. If we can break through, we do not. Come on. Uh, I'm going to go for Ice Punch again. He's going to go for Roost. That's fine. Oh, are you serious? Come on, man. Three in a row. Three in a row. Really? Wow. That is insane. I got parried three times in a row. He's just going to roost. Yeah, it doesn't even matter at this point. Like, wow, that's frustrating. I, I might have been able to bring that back if I crit to one overheat. All I needed to do was crit one. And I won that game. And I didn't even get a chance to do that because he parried me three turns in a row. The only person on the ladder running Dragon Tail, Thunder Wave, Dragonite. Like, <laughs> I shouldn't be recording at this hour, guys. I'm telling you. All right, we got like a weird variant of bird spam. Doesn't have a Zelf and um, the other thing on it, Mega Pinsir. Uh, instead, it has Mega Deancey and Latias for some reason. But, um, Agron's looking pretty good here. What's his rocker? Deancey? Wait a minute. Do we outspeed Deancey? No, we don't. Okay, I'm gonna lead off with Kingler. Um, I didn't expect this to lead, but that's absolutely fine. That just means we get off a Crab Hammer here. Um, I expected his Deancey to lead, and I was gonna go for a, uh, an Agility. But he let off with that. Manaphy is going to come in. Going to take a crab hammer. Awesome. Uh, we're going to knock off its leftovers right here. And then we're going to have to sack something. But it's fine. Uh, actually, Cradilly might be able to take any hit. Outside of an ice beam, of course. Uh, we're going to go into Cradilly. Yo, you guys want to see these plays? Cradilly. As he goes for energy ball. Okay. And now he has to ice beam to knock me out. So I'm going to go into Rotom. He has to ice me. Yep, there we go. Beautiful. All right. And he freezes me. Awesome. Please tell me overheat thaws you. Please tell me that. Come on, man. The one thing I have that's faster than this. What is going on today? Seriously. Wow. Okay. Kirim can take a hit. Um... I'm just gonna Ice Beam. Screw it. Like, I don't have another play. He's gonna go hard into Drill. Okay, that's fine. Just gonna Ice Beam. Do 47. Nice. Pop the Balloon. Uh, we can't take an Iron Head, so I'm just gonna switch out into Mew. Let's see if we can get an Agility Pass sweep this game, guys. That's, that's, that's insane. Honestly, like, I make the play, I make the correct play of switching out into Rotom, and he just freezes me, so... Nothing I can do about that. I'm just going to... What am I going to do here? Does he know this team or something? Did he know I would go into Mew? And that I have no attacking moves? I'm just going to go for an Amnesia. He actually goes into Talonflame. Okay. Alright. Hold on. Wait up. 
Uh, we're gonna go for sub. Can we pull this out? Yo, wait a minute. Is this gonna be the time? Is this gonna be it? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, we're gonna go for Roost right here, as he's gonna Brave Bird. That's fine. And we are going to sub again. Okay, that's fine. Take that extra recoil. Yes, beautiful. All right. How much did that do? 62? I can afford to go for a roost right here. He has to Brave Bird me. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, we're sitting at above. As long as he doesn't crit us, we're good to go. I'm just going to Baton Pass, I think. Into Agron. As he's going to roost. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Let's go to Agron. We have a plus two spidef boost right now. We are super physically defensive. He seems to be sword dance, brave bird, roost. What's your last move? I'm gonna rock polish here. Uh, he does have the flare blitz. That's gonna do a lot of damage. He's gonna take a lot of recoil in the process. Is he gonna expect me to have the rock move is the question. I'm gonna go for ice punch. Let's hope he brave birds. Let's hope he brave birds right here. And then thinks he can just freely go into... Yes, he does Brave Bird. And he crits me. Amazing! Everything I do... Everything I do gets punished. <laughs> Why can't one team just work? <sighs> Alright. Whatever. Sub. I can't, I can't do anything, guys. I can't do anything. And on top of that, he actually Brave Birds me. Wow. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. I'm just gonna go into Cradilly, sack it off to his Brave Bird. And then we're gonna go into, into what? Uh, I guess Kingler, then go into Mew. Kingler, double out into Mew, have him kill himself to recoil, hopefully. Yes, it is enough, awesome. Now I just lose to Excadrill, I think. Um, I'm gonna go into Kirim, regardless, as he goes Deancey, okay. Had I gone into Kingler there, that would have been actually pretty good for us, but anyway. Yeah, that's really, it's really discouraging, I don't know, it's just, every, like, everything I try with any Kingler team just doesn't seem to work out, either because of hacks, or, it's always something, there's always, there's always that little something that doesn't work out. If anybody can come up with a better Kingler team than this, be my guest. Go ahead. Try. Give it a shot. I'm just going to agility here. He's going to knock me out anyway. That's going to be a good game. That's going to wrap it up, guys. Unfortunately, we only go one and two. Once again, as is the trend with Overuse Me. If you did enjoy, though, if you enjoyed me freaking out over hacks, uh, please leave a like down below. Uh, again, leave me some teams if you have any Kingler teams that you've come up with that are pretty good on the ladder. Uh, leave them for me in the uh, in the comment section down below. I'm, I'm down to try them. I'm even down to use them uh, on an episode if you want me to. So, And of course, uh, as always, I will catch you guys later. Ciao.